So it's just pop metal, right? Okay, we got that off. Hey folks, that fix it guy here. And today we're looking at a stuck kitchen sink strainer. So that little nut on the bottom that holds the strainer actually to the sink, it got rusted in, it would not come apart. And when I went to take it off, the whole thing started moving. So what do you do when you run into that scenario? Well, today I'm gonna show you. So come along, let's get to fixing. So today I'm gonna to show you what you do right here. If you go to move this and your whole basket strainer starts spinning, right? If you can't take this nut off, it just won't come apart. Well, sometimes you gotta cut this, right? So I just grab a mini hacksaw. They sell in a bunch of different kinds. I'll put a link below for a version of the mini hack. I like this one because it's a little more solid than some of the other ones that I've used in the past. And so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get in here right by the threads and the nut and we're gonna make a cut so that we can cut this and then we'll be able to take a screwdriver, get a screwdriver underneath it and break it out. You wanna make sure you have some safety glasses on. This little mini hacksaw has seen better days. Okay, so I got to grinding on this, or I got to hacking on this, and I realized that the blade was super dull. So, grabbing a new blade, let's get back with it. Make sure you have some glasses on. This is gonna produce some metal shavings. This is a tight space, and so anywhere that you can make it, I usually go to the side, so you can just lay on your side, and then just start. Cutting into it. Hey, if you folks like this content, please jump on in here. Consider subscribing. We'd really appreciate it and we'd love to have you keep coming back. Okay, so we're getting a nice cut in it. I'll show it to you here in a second once I get a little bit more on both sides because we just want to cut this nut off. We don't want to cut the sink, right? You don't want to cut a hole in the sink. That would be unfortunate. So you can see this cut right here. That's where I started to cut it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little screwdriver in there and I'm going to start prying that to try to pop that metal apart. I got to give props to this awesome tripod, right? Because right now I've got this wrapped around the pipe. Like it is super cool. So check this out. If you're looking for some kind of a tripod that you need to help you do some interesting and awesome angles on some stuff, like check out this bad boy. I mean, these little things that been like pretzels and wrap around stuff, they are awesome. I'll put a link in the description box below all right, and so we'll just get in there. And you can see I'm starting to get my screwdriver in there a little bit. So it's just pop metal, right? Okay, we got that off. And now you're just able to remove it. It's not bad, right? If we get that up there and we look at that, just get it started, get it at least halfway, and then you're able to take it and just start bending it. You won't damage the sink. You. You're just gonna end up bending it onto itself and eventually it's gonna bust. Okay, so then what we'll do is we'll actually just come right here to this nut and we're gonna untwist this. All right, and usually just hand tight. And just pop that out. So I came out to my friend's wood shop and I needed a metal vise and the only one I could find was this little one right here. So he's like, yeah, sure, go ahead and use it. So we really don't need this little vise for much. 
I just want to get this basket strainer and this nut off. The new pack comes with a nut with the basket strainer, but I still want to reuse this. So we're just going to try to grab onto this as well. There we go. Okay. So man, you can see that was on there. Whoever put that, whoever put this nut on there, they put it on with plumber's putty. You could tell, and man, when that stuff hardened, that wasn't coming apart. Which, I mean, hey, it worked. It's not my preferred choice. I like to have things that'll come apart, but it worked pretty well. Look at that. I mean, it doesn't matter, we're throwing it away anyway. But the little vice worked out. This thing's awesome, man. It's just cool, like just a little attaches to the tabletop, give you a small little thing. I love it. Okay, so then we're just gonna pop these off. Pop this off. We're gonna chuck this and we're gonna clean this up a little bit. There's a gasket on here. Make sure you take that off because we're gonna put a new one on. Okay, so then you just want to take all of this excess plumber's putty off of here and you want to make sure this is all clean, right? Both top and bottom, just make sure it's clean. Okay, so we've got our old pipe right here cleaned up and we've got our new basket strainer right here. First thing we're going to do is we're just going to take this nut right here off of that. Don't lose this plastic washer, you're going to need it. Take this new nut, you're gonna put it on this tail piece. It's gonna be installed the exact same way that it was, right like that. And then just set these two things aside. We'll grab our new basket strainer. Grab some plumber's putty. If you guys like the channel, please jump on in here, subscribe, click that like button. We're just trying to do good things and I want to grab a ball of this right here and mix it on up. We'd love to have you guys keep coming back. It's trying to help homeowners out, save you a little bit of cash, show you some tips and tricks, how I do things. Um, some of these things, you know, it's just nice to know, right? You get caught up in a job and you're wondering like, heck man, what do I do? Well, it's nice to know. Now you roll this out. Make it look kind of like a snake. It's kind of wrapped around there. Doesn't have to be too thick. You're gonna spread it out, right? You wanna make sure. You're gonna press it down on in there. You want it to be thin because you're just trying to create a seal between the basket strainer and the sink. So then we're just gonna take this, set it right down on in there, just make sure it's sitting kind of even, and then we'll go back below. So then I'm gonna grab this cool little rigid tool that I have. It's a faucet tool. You pop this end off and it has a piece that allows you to to just put this right up in here to hold that steady. We're gonna take a screwdriver. We're gonna put this through the end of this. We're gonna take our 440 channel locks. And then we're gonna start tightening. Holding the screwdriver counterclockwise and cranking the nut on the basket strainer clockwise. And it's gonna get tight, just give it a minute, let some of the plumber's putty ooze out, and then do it again. So you can see right here that some plumber's putty started to ooze out. Just take a flat tip screwdriver, go around the edge of that. Get all that off of there. 
and it's probably gonna ooze out a couple times. Like I said, just give it a couple minutes, let it ooze out, and then try to tighten it again. And then pretty soon you won't be able to tighten it at all. Okay, that's gonna be good. Nice and tight, no problem. Okay, so we have this piece right here. Remember, we're just gonna take this piece, we're gonna put that on, and we need that little gasket right there. And then that just gonna sit right down in there. And remember this piece, and we're gonna have to put that in there. But before I do that, I like to just take a little mega lock and slap that on there. It is piped up for metal and plastic pipe. And let's get that hooked up right around the bottom, a little bit more right around the top. Stuff works so good, man. It really just seals up, just gets in there and seals everything up. So just get this one slapped right on there. We'll just go hand tight for right now. Pop this one up. I like to go right around the bevel. Just a little bit of this stuff right around the bevel. And then these are pretty much hand tight. The top one, I, I hit with the channel locks just a little bit. Okay. Grab those 440s one last time. Right there, it doesn't need to be super duper tight. And let's fill some water. We'll give it a test and we'll drain it. We'll fill it and drain it. Come back down here. We'll look for any leaks. I don't see anything dripping anywhere. Everything's good. Okay, so that's how we ended up replacing the sink strainer that would not come out, right? Take that little mini hack. It's an awesome tool to have, right? Really, they're very cool. I'll put a link for a good quality one in the description box below. When you need one, they're awesome. They really do come in handy. I really hope this video helps. If you could please consider subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you keep coming back. Um, we've got tons of videos out there. I'm trying to create more and more playlists. Um, we've got a DIY Facebook group. You know, we're just trying to help. Thank you very much and hope to see you again real soon.